Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, scalene uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its side length uh, AB is uh, 65 units, whereas its side uh, AC is uh, 39. And moreover, its angle uh, ABC is X, whereas this angle uh, ACB is uh, 2 times x and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, a, B, C. So we have two different options uh, to calculate the area of this uh, given uh, triangle. And here's our very first option. We can uh, use the Heron's formula. And according to this formula, the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of uh, S times S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C, where S represents the semi-perimeter. That means uh, A plus B plus C divided by 2. Where in our case, uh, this side length uh, is going to be lowercase a, this side length is going to be lowercase b, and this side is going to be lowercase c. And this formula is feasible if we can somehow find uh, this uh, side length uh, a. And we can find uh, this side length a by using the law of uh, sines. And here's our second option. Uh, we can use uh, this uh, formula to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see A and B are our uh, side lengths, and C is the angle uh, between uh, these two sides. And here we can see that we already know these uh, two side lengths. Uh, let me call this side length uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. If I call this angle uh, c in between these uh, two sides, uh, then uh, if we somehow can find this angle uh, c, then we can easily use uh, this uh, formula to calculate the area of this uh, given triangle uh, ABC. And I am going to use only one method to solve this given uh, problem. And here's our very first step. Uh, before we can do anything else, uh, we must find the value of this uh, angle uh, x. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, BAC is uh, angle theta. And now let's recall the law of uh, sines, sine of alpha divided by A equal to sine of beta divided by B. Let's assume that our this uh, angle is alpha and this uh, angle is uh, beta and our this side length is uh, lowercase a and this side length uh, is uh, lowercase uh, b. Then we can plug it in this uh, formula. So sine of alpha could be written as uh, sine of uh, x divided by a value is uh, 39 equal to sine of beta. Beta in our case is uh, 2 times x divided by 65. Before we go any further, let's take care of this uh, sine of 2x. And now let's recall this uh, angle sum identity. Sine of uh, angle alpha plus beta could be written as uh, sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus uh, sine of beta times uh, cosine of alpha. Let's assume that our alpha angle is uh, x and beta angle is uh, x uh, as well. Then all uh, these angles are going to become uh, x uh, as well across the board. So therefore we can see on the left hand side we got uh, sine of uh, 2 times x uh, turns out to be equal to they are identical. So I can add them up. I can write 2 times uh, sine of x uh, times uh, cosine of x. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 2x uh, by this uh, 2 times sine of x uh, cosine of x. So therefore this equation is going to become uh, sine of x uh, divided by 39 equal to 2 sine of uh, x uh, times cosine of x uh, divided by 65. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 divided by sine of x on this side and 1 divided by sine of x uh, this side as well. 
so therefore we can see this uh, cancels out so we got uh, 1 divided by 39 turns out to be equal to this sine of x sine of x is gone so we got uh, 2 times uh, cosine of x uh, divided by 65 let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we got uh, 78 times uh, cosine of x equal to 65 let's divide both sides by 78 so therefore cosine of x turns out to be equal to 0 0.833 so that means we can write our angle x as cosine inverse of 0 0.833 and if we use a scientific calculator cosine inverse of 0 0.833 is equal to 33.56 degrees so therefore our angle x turns out to be 33.56 degrees so therefore we conclude that this angle x turns out to be 33.56 degrees and since this angle is 2 times uh, x, so this angle is going to be twice uh, that angle. So therefore, uh, this angle turns out to be 67.12 degrees by multiplying this uh, by 2. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of uh, 3 interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, sum of these uh, 3 angles, this angle plus this angle, plus this angle of theta must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore I can write uh, 33.56 degrees plus uh, 67.12 degrees plus angle theta must be equal to 180 degrees. And if we combine these uh, like terms, we're going to get 100.68 degrees. And now let's subtract uh, 100.68 degrees from both sides. So therefore our angle uh, theta turns out to be 79.32 degrees. So thus our this angle theta turns out to be 79.32 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, AB times uh, sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see we have these uh, two side lengths. And this is the angle in between them. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, 65 times uh, 39 times angle uh, sine of uh, 79.32 degrees and now we can see the sine of 79.32 degrees equal to 0 0.983 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this one by 0 0.983 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side our area of uh, this triangle abc turns out to be approximately equal to 1245.54 square units and here's your assignment can you do the same problem by using the Heron's formula so thus here's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye